today's topic is the two membrane bound organelles mitochondria and chloroplast mitochondria and second is the chloroplast these two organelles the common features of these two organelles both are double membrane both having double membrane double membrane both having first similarity both have double membrane second similarity both have extra nuclear DNA it is a circular DNA particularly circular circular DNA in case of plastid this is called a plastid DNA and in case of mitochondria the mitochondrial empty DNA mitochondrial DNA plastid DNA and mitochondrial DNA also contain there also these organelles both the organelles contain some extra nuclear DNA. This DNA, what are the functions of this extra nuclear DNA present in the mitochondria and the plastid? This DNA present in these two organelles are performed to produce some proteins. They, these proteins are used as an enzyme to perform different biochemical functions like some proteins are involved in mitochondria they make the electron transport chain proteins and some enzymes in the plastid they also involve in the oxidative phosphorylation process in plastid that means they produces different enzymes and proteins those are involved for the function, whether maintaining the function of the mitochondria and plastic function. Third, both of these two organelles contain ribosomes. Ribosomes also present in the cytoplasm in eukaryotes, but their size is somewhat greater than the mitochondrial and chloroplast ribosome. Its value is 70S. That means S means sedimentation coefficient by Weber. This from this S value the size and density of the ribosome are measured. That is a ribosomal size 70S. These are three common characteristics. Then, some, besides these common characteristics, we consider first mitochondria. First mitochondria. Mitochondria structure, what is this characteristics? First character double membrane. Second character both have the extra circular DNA, the extra nuclear DNA present in the, present in matrix of the mitochondria and in the matrix 70s ribosome present in the matrix then fourth point as the mitochondria contain two membrane inner membrane or outer membrane both membrane or inner membrane is is a folded and make a pristine the inner membrane membrane is folded inward inward and stuck create a finger like structure called cristi or crista in singular crystal. This crystal membrane 
play very significant role in case of electron transport system and they help some proteins help the production of ATP. These two membrane, the outer membrane is continuous and the outer membrane is continuous, not folded. These two membrane create true space, outer, outer compartment and inner compartment. The outer compartment is the intermembrane space. Where these two membrane plays outer compartment and or this is called the inter membrane space and inner compartment inner compartment that this is called matrix where in matrix circular DNA as well as ribosomes and different enzymes also present in the matrix. In the matrix the inner membrane that is a crystal the inner membrane contains some granular substances. Inner membrane Contain F0 F1 complex or Fernandez Muran subunit. These are the ATP synthase. These organism, these organic complex organic biomolecules, potentials biomolecules, having multiple peptide chain oligomeric protein. They play a very significant role for the, in the formation of for the formation of ATP by binding ADP ADP plus PI create ATP and all the members all the protein molecules present most of the protein molecules present or oxidative phosphorylation are present in the inner membrane that is the carrier different carrier proteins different carrier proteins are present these which carrier proteins electron transport chain protein they help electron carrier electron transfer, transport, ETC. These are the more or less common characteristics of mitochondria. Then we draw a mitochondrial structure. Mitochondria is a sausage sepage, sausage sepage or a cylindrical structure. Mitochondria is a sausage sepage or cylindrical structure. It has inner outer compartment is continuous and inner compartment is highly folding, forming a crystal. This is the inner compartment. This is the inner compartment. When these are the part of the one of the most important in our part in our membrane in our membrane folding and outer membrane in our membrane this is the inner membrane and another is the outer membrane this is the outer membrane to cross section we need to like cross section this is called the intermembrane space the outer compartment this is the inner part of the inner membrane this is the outer membrane outer membrane 
This is the inner membrane and this is called the matrix. In the matrix, some circular DNA. Mitochondrial DNA, this is called DNA, and some ribosomes, 70s type of ribosomes, 70s ribosomes are present. In the 70s ribosomes also present, and in the membrane, and in the membrane, some particles, drumstick like particles are present. These are the ATP synthase. A very significant role ATP synthase. These are called F0, F1 complex. F1 complex present placed in the matrix, direct in the matrix and F0 present in the inner membrane. And these these organic molecules, complex molecules, helps in the production of ATP by, by binding up ADP and PI, adenosine triphosphate. As the ATP is formed, here mitochondria is called storehouse of ATP. ATP storehouse and ATP is, is called the energy currency. ATP is storehouse and it is the energy currency. And the different biochemical process, mainly the cycle or citric acid cycles present that occur inside the mitochondrial matrix. Glycolysis occur that one part of the respiratory cellular respiration glycolysis are performed in the cytoplasmic matrix and within the mitochondria mitochondrial matrix the respiratory pathway and aerobic respiratory pathway that is called the Krebs cycle or TCA cycle or citric acid cycles are present in the matrix, different type of enzymes are present here that perform this all this reaction. That is the function is the it play play the Krebs cycle all function production of ATP and store it and store it storehouse. And the chemical reactions, Krebs cycle reactions takes place here. Krebs cycle reaction takes place here. These are the mitochondria. Then the second organelle present in plant cells. These are called the chloroplast. Mitochondria present both in plant cells and animal cells. These are present both are in mitochondria present in both plant and animal cell. Next the organelle, the chloroplast, plastid or chloroplastid particularly found in plant cells. It is not now uh, we shall discuss about the one of the double membrane bound organelle, chloroplastid. That is the plastid, not chloroplastid. This is called the plastid. Plastid. Plastid is a double membrane organelle having two membranes. Both having extra circular DNA present in the stroma. In case of mitochondria, the place is called matrix, but in case of plastid, this area is called stroma. 
and both the 70s ribosomes present in the mat not matrix, this is the stroma. These are the common features and common in plastid and mitochondria. But plastid only found in, it is found in only plant cell. Plant cell. These plastids have two membrane, outer membrane and inner membrane, double membrane and in the innermost part of the inner membrane called stroma where some special type structures is called, formed. The special structure called grana, grana or granum, singular granum. And granum is a membranous stock made by piles of thylakoid. It is a stock made by piles of thylakoid. Thylakoid is a membrane. Thylakoid is the membrane. A sap within the sap, hydrolysis of water takes place, and within the membrane, different photosynthetic phosphorylating carrier molecules and enzymes are present in the thylakoid membrane. This thylakoid, several thylakoids are arranged one after another. Suppose this is a thylakoid like structure, several thylakoids are arranged one after another forming a grana. Several grana, granas are present within the stroma of the plastic. This grana, this grana are connected with each other by some extensions, membranous extensions that connect one thylakoid of the grana to the next thylakoid of the next or another grana. This is called the stroma lamellae. Suppose the, so that means six, six is the thylakoid made by stro grana and stroma lamellae. Are present and connect. That connect the grana with each other. Let us draw the structure. When we draw the structure and two membranous for membranes are found here. Inside the inner membrane, this is the area, outer membrane, this is outer, this is inner. Inner membrane, the total area of the inner membrane, total area is inner membrane, the stroma. Within the stroma, several thylakoids are arranged. Several thylakoids are strong like pile of coins forming grana. The one grana, this is the several thylakoids, another thylakoids are piled one after another, forming third, second grana, and this is the third grana. Several grana are present, may be present in a chloroplastic. But yeah, the membrane of the thylakoid of one grana connect with the membrane of the other grana thylakoid by means of a tubular structure this is called stroma lamellae this is called stroma lamellae this is called grana granum this is called stroma lamellae 
these are the and DNA plastic DNA is also present in the DNA as well as ribosomes also present. Seven years ribosome. Ribosomes are present. These plastids are divided into different categories on the basis of their substance present in it. When the plastid contain chlorophyll, a pigments, a magnesium containing pigments that absorb sunlight. This plastid, the plastid that contain chlorophyll on the basis of the storing materials, plastids are several types. One is chloroplastid. Chloroplastid that means chlorophylls are present. Chlorophylls are present. These chlorophylls help photosynthesis of plants and the plants produce their own food. Second, chromoplastid. Chromo Chromoplastids is that these plastids contain different pigments, carotenoid, carotenoids, like carotene, xanthophyll, carotene, xanthophyll, and provide the color orange. Yellow or red. Several colors are provided by the presence of the chromoplastic. Chromo means color, chrome means chlorophyll. That is why when the chloroplast is present in the cell, the cell is a green color. It provides the green color of the plant. And third is the leucoplastid. Leucoplastid. That is the colorless plastid. Different substance can store in it. When carbohydrate is stored, when carbohydrate is stored, carbohydrate may be stored in it, oils may be stored in it, or proteins may be stored in it. When carbohydrate stored in leucoplast called amyloplast. When oils is stored in the leucoplast, this is called ileo, ileoplast. When proteins are stored in the glycoplast, this is called alleoplast. Alleoplast and alleoplast. These different from these from the compositions. Of these three types of plastic, we can plot conclude that plastic perform different functions. This is these function from the chloroplastic perform photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is one of the main function of the plastic produce food by absorbing sunlight and carbon dioxide. Chromoplastic they provide the different colors of the of the petals and the leaves coloring agent. And leucoplast store different substances, storage, storage different substances. This plastid are with this plastid and mitochondria, they are numbered in the cells and may vary. When the cells very active 
stage, then the mitochondrial number will be high. That is found in the heart cells and as well as in the different liver cells. Similarly, when plastid, number of plastids may vary from single to multi. In, in case of A, this is cup seven single plastid present in the Clamidomona single plastid. Single plastid. Cup seven in Clamidomonas. But in mesophyll cell present in the leaf. Several mesophyll cells present in the leaf. And these mesophyll cells are cylindrical in structure and contain many plastid, particularly chloroplastid, as these are the main site of the photosynthesis. These chloroplastid found in the within the leaf and play a very significant or play a major role that perform we need the photosynthesis occur as these cells contain huge number 20 to 40 number of plastids. These are the more or less two organelles 